how I hire, train and manage commission only setters to book me 30 plus meetings every single month on LinkedIn. If you don't know what commission only means, it basically means that they only get paid once they book me qualified calls on my sales, on my calendar that shows up like super, super, super beneficial. And I'm going to share with you my exact process. Like literally, this is probably going to be the most leveraged thing you can do right now and if you're actually currently doing this all by yourself or you can hire someone a commission only you don't even have to pay them and still get the rewards do book 30 40 50 appointments every single month on linkedin let's dive straight into it and if you don't know me my name is joshua bell and i basically help business coaches generate you know three to five qualified calls with ceos founders on linkedin and i do also offer coaching on the site but i will talk about that during the later stages of the video. And so this is some proof here. This is my own personal virtual assistant. As you can see here, she's booking me, um, you know, five calls one day, um, meetings book 10 calls and four calls. So that's literally, um, what's that, 10? That's 15 calls without me having to do anything. I'm literally waking up to calls on my calendar. And to be fully, to be even more transparent with you, let me share with you my calendar today, just so you can see it. Um, let me get my phone up. As you can see here, I've actually been generating a few leads of YouTube too. So as you can see here, these are meetings getting booked on my calendar every single day without me having to do anything. So it's, I mean, it's, it's a nice feeling. It's, I'm, I'm happy. So I can just focus on making killer valuable videos for, you know, you guys watching these stuff. Um, but once I figured out how to do this, it literally brought me back. No word for lie, 12 hours of my time every single week. So I would, well, it's up to you, of course, but watch the whole video because this is going to share with you from A to Z exactly how to do this. Like this can probably be the most leveraged thing you can do this week by just watching this video. And so step one. So before you actually hire, you need to make sure that you know how to book calls yourself. So make sure you've booked at least 30 qualified calls before, um, by yourself before you outsource this super super important do not outsource anything that you don't know how to do because if you outsource it before you know how to do it well when the va is saying i'm having this problem you're not going to know how to solve it because you don't really know what to do so make sure you've booked at least 30 qualified calls consistently i'll even say 30 qualified calls for two three months you got proof of concept and then outsource it to a virtual system so step two create an slp so slp means means standard operating procedure and it basically but you basically want to create a document exactly what the va has to do so you hand them over the document so for instance if i was to go to my arsenal sop hub so type in my arsenal sop hub here and basically i just send it send this to them so there's a few appointment setters that i'm onboarding tomorrow um it's currently it's just past 12 it's actually my birthday on the 17th which is exciting so they basically I basically share this with them. So I'll share it with them and they just say, and I'll just say, go, go, go over everything. And they will do it, literally. I'll get my head setter to, if they have any questions, they'll go ahead and ask her, but they just want to video how to set up, how to track, how to find leads, um, how to do your profile, and then how to do all the messages or the follow-ups and how to track and the common questions that I get asked, any objections I get asked in the DMs. Like one document, and I can give this to 10 appointment setters and they can just go ahead and, and book me three to five calls every single day, like per setter. So that's the way I'm personally going to scale. And I'm going to share with you how you can do it also. So as I said, so you optimize your profile. So make sure that um, their profile is looking like your profile, the banner, the headline, tagline, all that good stuff. Um, you want to create an SOP in terms of how to actually search leads on LinkedIn, on SalesNav, groups, events, etc. So a great whole SOP, I'll share with you an example of mine. So what they need to do is basically just watch this video and explain to them how to find leads. Um, and then you want to do an SOP of script. So what they need to say, remember you need to do this whole process before you actually, which is step three, before you actually find someone to hire. Because as soon as you find someone to hire, you just want to send them over the document quickly. So send them over this document quickly and they can just get going as soon as possible. Because remember, speed, speed, speed. Everything in business is about speed, speed, speed. Like, it needs to be done quick. Um, but you need to do this beforehand before you send it over to them. And so the scripts, the follow-ups, you know, the follow-up messages they're going to be using. So, for instance, if I go into my Ask to SOP, these are the initial messages and these are the follow-ups they send. 
So there's three, there's three type of follow-ups after the initial message, after the mini pitch, and then after the, um, the Calendly. So once we've sent them calendar, if they haven't booked a call, we do a series of eight follow-ups and you just basically create them the follow-up messages. Super, super simple. Um, so once you've done that lead magnet, so any lead magnets, for instance, if someone wants more information about you, someone wants a free resource, do you have any, you need some ready and prepared. Let me just have some, some water quick. So any posts. So when you hire someone, it's super important that they post because you could basically help them build their own personal brand through your brand. So for your business, so help them with their posting, tell them to do commenting, engage with people and stuff. And you'll see naturally they'll start to build a brand. And if they build a brand too, I mean, your brand is going to be even more powerful. If they build a profile, sorry, in a platform on, and a following on LinkedIn, it's only going to enhance and help your own personal brand. Um, commenting strategy, so share them how to comment. Tracking, so share them how to track. I've given this tracking sheet to, you know, a lot of people who have watched my videos on YouTube. So if you want this tracking sheet, for yourself, for your appointment setter to use it, feel free to just message me on YouTube and just, you know, um, connect to me and say um, tracking sheet and I'll be more than happy to send it over to you. So that's that and then daily reporting, super, super important. So basically you want to, you want your VA to report to you when you're about to start work and when you're about to finish and then when, when they finish, just so you know, okay, the hours that they're working because I used to do this where, um, like my VA would just message me at a random time when I'm sleeping and say, oh yeah, I'm about to start. And like, oh yeah, I'm about to finish. So I didn't really like that. I just know, okay, so my VA started at this time and she's finished at this time. She messages me every single time, every single day when she started and when she's finished, just so you know, it's as a CEO, it's super important to know the hours, the rough hours that your employees are working. Uh, and then the daily workflow. So if they ever get like mixed up, um, they just use a daily workflow, log into client's account, read um, read messages, um, search via LinkedIn sales now, blah, blah, blah. And so they just go through this. And I literally reverse engineer the whole process because I have appointment setters for my own personal clients and they just follow the, the, um, the daily workflow. Super, super important. So hiring. So this is going to be really challenging. I still have challenges to this day in terms of hiring and the process and finding the right fit. The amount of people I've, I don't really like sacking people but if they're not a good fit it's like i have to get rid of them i know a lot of people you've probably heard this saying before hire slow fire fast it's like that saying can't resonate with me enough like there's a there's someone i had i had a few weeks ago he came across like the most hardworking, genuine guy as soon as i told him what he's going to be doing he said whoa i don't know if i can do this i, hi I fired him within two two days like it's just there's no time you know with, with business with speed with life everything needs to be done um, quick, 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 quick. And if they're not a good fit, unfortunately get them out and get someone to get, to get someone um, good back in, um, into the company. And I say this because one hire can literally change your company forever. The hires I have in my team, they've changed my company. They've helped me so much, it's crazy. And I'm always looking to hire more and more better, uh, more efficient people into the company. So this is the way you're gonna find people to hire. So step one, your network. So literally you can ask your friends, your family, friends of friends i don't know if you go people watch this maybe go uni ask someone to help you like that that's in your uni or something like that or or anyone so that's actually step one your network you're going to get the best people for your network because they know you you know they're not just random people um so yeah they'll do the work properly so step two online pitch jobs this is where i've personally found my virtual assistant who's probably the best virtual assistant i've found today super super good professional you need to pay for this so this is 659 dollars i think um but it's really good i mean you put a job description there and you would get about 100 applicants like straight away that are really professional ready trained good to go have done appointment setting for you know at least two three four years and they have i mean they know what they're doing and it's super super easy to train someone once when, when they really have a, they already have a good understanding on how to do appointment setting. So that's the website I use. Um, so I've used Fiverr too. So Fiverr is really good too. If you want to just find an appointment setting, there's people on there. Um, let me just get Fiverr up. People don't know what Fiverr is. So this is Fiverr here. Um, just set an account up. This is for free and you can message people on there. Just type in appointment setter and you can start having conversations with people on there. Um, Upwork, I've personally been banned a few times on Upwork, it's so bloody annoying, but um, 
Upwork is super, super good too. So you'll find some killer appointment setters on there. And then Facebook groups. So for instance, let's just jump on Facebook now. Um, so you would type in appointment setter. Let me actually go to my Facebook. So what you do, you type in appointment setter. Just get my face back, appointment setter and search it. And then you can join groups. There'll be so many different groups and then you can just go ahead and message people. Super, super um, useful. Like so many, I've come across a lot of killer appointment setters from Facebook. So don't like, don't take Facebook for like, for granted. There's some really good people on there. Um, Instagram stories, polls and LinkedIn groups too. So if I was going to my LinkedIn now, you can just type in, to be fair, if you just type in appointment setter, on LinkedIn search, but it comes up with some super good people. My current employees are from South Africa and Philippines. So um, if I was to start from zero, I would go South Africa and Philippines too, just because I know there's some really good people, some really good um, appointment setters over there. And I would literally just send them a message. I'd say, hey, Edwin, hope you're doing well. Um, just wanted to reach out. I'm looking for an appointment setter um, who's looking to work with me on a commission basis only. So just really emphasize that it's only commission basis. Um, and obviously some people won't be interested, but you'll get people that are interested in working on a commission, especially if you emphasize the fact that you have a really good offer, you've set appointments. So you have a script that works. That's why you need to do this before, before you outsource it, because I know I have a script that works. So they are going to book at least one to five calls a day with the script. So they're going to make money. And if you're charging, I'll talk about pricing later, but if you're charging like $20, $30 per call, I mean, they can be making a lot of money. They'll probably get to a point where you need to actually give them a base salary because they're making so much money. Um, I actually got to a point when I had to give my VA a base salary because, I mean, she put me like 50 calls at $30. So, I mean, if you do the maths there, let me just keep get my calculator. What's that? 30 times 50. $1,500, like she got, she put me broke, like I was broke for the month. <laughs> so once they hit a certain milestone and then you can just give them a base salary. Um, yeah, so that's that. So in terms of the hiring process, you wanna create a job description. So you wanna create a job description, go over everything, um, you know, job title, location, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then you also want to create a video explaining what the job description is going to be about. I don't know what happened here. It's not working. Oh, so you basically want to create a video. I don't know why mine's not working there, but you want to create a video basically going over the job, like in detail, get really pumped and really excited. Hey, you know, I'm looking for an appointment setter to, you know, tell me to take my company to the next level. You're going to be making anything from 300 to $800. It's commission only, but we have proven messages that would get you um, booked calls. Just make it really pumped and get them excited. So, and then you want to um, set up a job application form. So this is my own form. It's super simple. So it's an email, full name, age. So you want to work with, I go with 18 plus, they have to be 18 plus or else I'm not working with anyone younger than that. LinkedIn or LinkedIn or um, Instagram URL, what country they're based in, give you a real life example of, of a time you've been consistent discipline to achieve something. So that just really, you'll really understand the person a little bit. So the person I actually hired before, he said that he like lost like 10 kilos, which is, which is insane. So I, I was thinking, okay, this guy actually, he must have some good discipline, which was attracted me to actually jump on the call with him. And then please record a 15 to 45 second video explaining where you've heard about this position and why you're a good fit. And I say this because firstly, you'll be able to hear how they speak. You'll be able to hear their background. If you've got any noise, if their Wi-Fi is good, if they're confident, if they're shy, so all these little things you'll be able to sort of clock on the video, hence the reason why I've, I've I've put, you know, they must record a video. If they don't record a video, then I don't jump on a call with them just because it's just like, it's a red flag to me, of course. Um, and then, yeah, simple as. And then step four is the training. So, sorry, step five is payment. Let me actually tweet that now, step five. So step four is basically you want to train the team. So once you've hired, um, so you want to jump on about, so let me actually go into a little more detail here. 
you want to jump on about 30 to 40 calls. I'll say, in, in, I put 20 here. I'll probably put more, 30 to 40, narrow it down to five. And then, then you want to test them for two weeks and then narrow it down to two. Because out of those five people, they're all not, or unless you get really lucky, they're not all going to be good. Like realistically, they're all going to be good. And within that two week period, they need to book at least four calls. And the ones that do great, the ones that don't, then they have to be let go, unfortunately. And that's just how the game goes. Um, and so with training, so you want to train the team. So for instance, my head setter, she'll go in and she'll train them three times a week um, on Google Me, on Zoom, and just go over the exact appointment setting. Appointment setting is not too difficult. If you've used LinkedIn, if they've used LinkedIn before, it's very, very simple. Like it's, it's so simple. So um, you just train them a few times a week just so they understand. So there's no like excuse if they're not hitting the KPIs, if they're not getting booked calls because you've trained them. Uh, they can't go back and be like, I don't understand. Um, so I'll ask them to share their screen so um, you can see they're working in real time. Communicate um, clear KPIs they need to achieve. So if they need to at least book one call a day, make sure it's clear. Um, so all five call, all five hires will undergo undergo a two week trial. So that's actually increase that to two weeks. Um, and you might even just pay them like fifty dollars for just doing the trial. Um, and then each should book at least three to four calls during the trial. If they don't meet expectations, let them go. Unfortunately, if they perform well, keep them. Required messages sent a day, which is minimum for hundred. That's why I do for my personal setters. We give them a tracking sheet, daily reporting, like I stated. Um, so at the end of the day, they would go into the client's assess group chat on Slack and just send, you know, what they've done, etc., and what they need to do tomorrow and how they can improve, etc. And that's that. So in terms of payments, um, I personally use PayPal, but you can use Wise, Pioneer. I have a Revolut account too, so I've got to use Revolut Business. And that's it for the video, guys. Um, this is probably the most leveraged thing you can do. Like if you need to watch this video again, then please do, because if you can figure out, if you could just find someone really good to hire to copy and paste what you do and give it to, and you give it to them on a commission only, you're going to be booking so many calls. And guess what you could do? You can hire two, you can hire four, you can hire 10. I know per people personally, they've got like 20 appointment setters, like doing like 100K a month. So, I mean, I don't even know what's stopping me from personally hiring 10, 15. Maybe I'm a bit overwhelmed. Maybe I'm currently, I'm currently stu like in the process of knowing how to manage because I'm just, you know, I'm only two years into business. It's still relatively really new to me. So just be ready. But yeah, get an appointment setter once you have proof of concept. That's probably the most important thing you can take from this video. Once you have proof of concept, you've booked 30 plus calls consistently for the next three months. You can then hire someone to do it for you. And that's it for the video. If you need help, um, if you're a business coach looking to generate leads, book a call. If you are completely new on LinkedIn, you, you'd want to potentially build a business, you want to make money on LinkedIn, you don't know what to do, I'm offering one-on-one coaching for newbies or someone who wants to just go to the next level, book a call. If not, um, all the best, and I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Take care.